Thank you for joining me on this Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields and Julia made landfall as expected as a hurricane in the central coastline of Nicaragua uh, this morning. Gusts were around 95 miles per hour. The sustained winds were about 85 miles per hour, but it did strengthen as expected as it moved into the Western Caribbean. Thinking of our islands over toward Colombia, some hurricane conditions. We had those overnight as well. Now the broader picture here it is. This is Julia working inland. It is going to weaken, but I, I caution that because yeah, the winds go down, but the rain is the massive threat with this. Like I mentioned, in yesterday's video. I'm most concerned about the life-threatening flash flooding as this rolls in. But elsewhere across the Caribbean, things are very settled. Here's Cuba. You get to where the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, just some scattered showers and storms. All of this staying away from Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands. You see a little spin here. This is an upper level disturbance. We do have some scattered showers and storms across the ABC Islands. And this disturbance, though, will bring those scattered showers and storms anywhere from uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines up through uh, St. Lucia. Uh, we'll see that in Barbados and then back through Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda. That chance of some rainstorms possible, but nothing organized. And again, a couple little spins out there, but nothing organized across the tropical Atlantic. So Julia itself, it will become a tropical storm very shortly. Winds still at 75 miles per hour core of the tropical storm force winds working inland but as it continues to work inland the heavier rain parts of honduras especially on the south side el salvador guatemala and then eventually into mexico where it could redevelop a little bit or at least kind of maintain some Intensity. It's not going to be too intense as far as the winds are concerned, but as it gets into the Pacific, that could just allow it to survive a little bit. And the issue with that is that keeps more rain in place. So the tropical storm force winds will move right across Nicaragua as we go throughout the day, and they may even move into the southern sections of El Salvador. Heaviest weather stays, uh, at least heaviest sustained winds. They're south of Honduras, but in Honduras, we've had those uh, strong rain bands working in at times, watching out for some flooding. Now, this is the Pacific side. As it moves into the Pacific, Pacific, yes, it could uh, either kind of stay the same or redevelop a little bit. Again, it's going to weaken as it moves over land, but we're going to watch it as it moves just uh, to the south there of Mexico as this goes from the Atlantic Basin back into the uh, Pacific. Oh, I jumped ahead on the graphic there. Let me get back to the models. And you see all the models, nothing uh, making this move up toward the Bay of uh, Campeche. I was mentioning that a few days ago, not really seeing any scenario that kind of swings us up north, more of that due westerly track. But again, back over water, this will bring some heavier rain, as I mentioned, from El Salvador, Guatemala, but also back into Mexico as we go down the road. So flash flooding, upwards of a foot of rain. That's a lot of rain. That The river's already swollen in spots. We're going to see the flash flooding and that potential of mudslides and rock, rock slides. Please be safe as this continues to work across and move inland. So you see it here. This is right now. Here's the uh, Caribbean. And as we go forward in time, we're going to see this working in. And as I mentioned, it'll go from a hurricane to a tropical storm uh, pretty quickly. But the rain is the issue with this. This will be working inland. And you see it here. Still, this big blob of rain, not as much for my friends in Belize. We'll see some of those far outer bands, scattered showers and storms, but the heavier rain still around parts of Honduras, swinging back toward uh, El Salvador and Guatemala. And then I'll be seeing this as it works into, this is tomorrow night, by Monday night, just off the coast. So back over water, where it may just kind of, uh, I don't see anything really strengthening it too much, but kind of holding its own. And that continues to feed in the rain. Look at all this green elsewhere, by the way, in the Caribbean, scattered showers and storms, so no organization, and still some rain as we work into uh, early next week. That's by the time we get into a when, even the middle of next week, into Wednesday, some of that rain making its way back toward Mexico. All right, back in time. This is 21 years ago. This is October 2001. Uh, on this date, this rolled into Belize. This was Hurricane Iris, a very compact hurricane, a very small eye. Winds in this were about 145 to 150. So the anniversary of that, and obviously this, this went down in the history books for the wrong reasons with those winds around 145, gust over 160. And you see the path it took kind of scraping by Jamaica 21 years ago, and then right into Belize, just to the north of Honduras. But unfortunately, dozens died in this. So just kind of looking back in time. And uh, that's kind of an indication of where we get development this time of year. We do look down toward the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, over toward the Bahamas, uh, because sometimes you get old fronts. We're not looking as far out anymore as we get deeper into the season. 
All right, thinking of you, if you're dealing with the flooding, please be safe, seek higher ground if necessary. I'm thinking of you, and I hope you have a good day ahead.